and you see how much they were paid was $2.153 million. Oh, there it is. It's upside down. Sorry about that. That fell up the other day. $2.153 million. That's what is on the contract summary report. $2.153 million. Now, that document reconciled the document that initiated my investigation. Because remember when we began, I said to you that it was the National Academy of Sciences, National Research Council in 1969, informed the Department of Defense that for $2 million a year over five years they could develop these immune system ravaging microorganisms for germ warfare. Remember I said that? How was it, you might ask, that the National Academy of Sciences knew that it would take $2 million over five years? $2 million every year for five years to do this work. How did they know? They had obviously just done it. Now, this information God wants to come out. How do I know that for certain? Because it was only this way that I found these contracts. I thought I was done. You know how sometimes you think you're done and God thinks something else? So I thought I was done with this investigation. I'm on my way home. My wife and I and my little baby, we were a two-year-old, Elena. We're on our way back from Florida, driving to New York, and what happens is that I, get, I call New York ahead of time. We were supposed to do a seminar. They canceled the seminar because they had painted the auditorium and they didn't want to intoxicate the audience. So they canceled the seminar. It gave me two days down. I, we decided to go to University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, Davis Library, and my wife and the baby could tittle around in the town. It was a beautiful spring day. The flowers, blossoms were coming out. And I would go to the library. So I go to the library to get two congressional records references. That's it. That's all I need. I'm done, I figure. So I get a library pass to the government documents office. I go to the library. There's a big librarian there. He's six foot three. He's about 300 pounds. This guy's got a sophisticated layer, an air of library science all about him, you know. <laughs> so I show him my pass. I said, I wonder if you could help me. Here's my references. I need to get these two congressional records. He says, follow me. So he darts off, and this guy's fast like a, a linebacker. And I'm following him, flying through a set of doorways, down a hall, down a flight of steps. I'm now 10 yards behind him, and all of a sudden I hear a voice that says, stop as loud as though I'm speaking to you now. Stop. Turn right. <laughs> okay. And now I got a problem, you see. Because this guy looks over and says, hey, where are you going? Um, don't mind me. I'm just going to have a look over here. His voice says, walk. Uh, he says, no, no, no. Your congressional records are over here. I say, don't mind me, I'm just going to have a quick look over here. He says, no, 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 your congressional records are this way. I said, look, I'm just going to have a quick look over here, just don't mind, I won't do anything wrong. He says, that's not how you do research. You get your citation and you look it up. I say, fine, I hear this voice say, walk. just walk. I said, fine, thank you, I'm just going to have a quick look over here. I hear, I hear this voice say, walk, I'm walking. It says. He says, okay. He gets frustrated. He says, okay, I'll go get your congressional records. So I now, I'm walking. I'm following this voice. He says, walk slow. Stop. I stop. He says, turn left. He says, walk. I'm now walking down an aisle of about 70, 60, 70 yards long, eight foot high stacks on both sides, hundreds of thousands of volumes on both sides. This voice says, walk. I'm walking. He says, slow. He says, slow. Stop. Look down. Left, knee high. I look down. Left, left knee high. There are the words. Special virus cancer program. Project reports, 1971, pop into my face. I said, I think I found what I'm looking for. I opened this thing up. It just happened to open up the thumb. Okay, miracle. Open up. Litton Bionetics Research Project Summary Reports contained all of the names, all of the organizational structure, the affiliations, the academic affiliations, what they did, when they did it, how they did it, including how much U.S. taxpayer money they paid. We paid for it. Our parents paid for it. So I want to share with you that this is all part of a great plan, and I'm privileged, gift, just it is such a blessing and a gift for me to be able to be here today and share this information with you. I believe that because of your prayers and the prayers of tens of thousands of people all over this world, I am still here to share this information. Because many of you have thought, you know, you know, aren't you afraid for your life? 
Aren't they, how come you're still alive, Horowitz? You know, a better question, higher quality question, because it's the questions that we ask ourselves at any given moment. The quality of the questions determine the quality of the outcomes that we are able to produce in life. So the higher quality question in this regard is, what is the risk to one human being or one career in comparison to the potential benefit to humanity for bringing this information out and sharing it with others.